right, this barrel is in 6090. It's the Mixed Adventurines. Uh, it's been running a couple of weeks and I want to see how thick the slurry is and if there's any grit left um, after. So you can see it's kind of on the runny side. Before I rinse this out, I want to see how much grit's left. Let the water run off and what's left is grit. Some slurry left. I mean, some um, grit left. You can't feel it. It's running clear now, so it's well rinsed. Seven days of coarse 6090 grit in the six pound barrel appears to be enough. It's not over charged. Also, very runny. Very little grit remains. There's quite a bit of grit left over on our three pound barrel in 6090 course. This is the prairie agate. It was very thin and watery. And as you can see, there's a lot of grit left in the tub here. So I'm thinking we can take this down to two tablespoons because three is too much for the um, curry agate for a seven day cycle in a three pound barrel. is the snakeskin jasper. Let's see how red that is. Let's clean that rim. You see how much grit came off just of the rim. Super thin. 
And you can see the barrels are about two thirds full. They're not over full. Again, there's a lot in here. Again, there's a lot of grit left in this three pound barrel. I think we're gonna go down to two tablespoons. Also, Jasper is our one and a half pound barrel. Oh, really foamy. So I'm thinking the one and a half teaspoons really went through it. Hmm. That of Picasso Jasper might be softer because it's really shredding. seven-day cycle, there shouldn't be grit left over. If we were using a blend them out. So it didn't matter if it was a thick or a thin slurry. saying it didn't matter if it was thick or thin, we still had grit left over. So the only one that didn't have grit left over was the six pound barrel. The three and the one and a half had grit left over in the four stretch. grit barrel, a 120. This is our mixed adventurine. Super foamy, but thin underneath that foam. Grit stuck to the bottom. Silver sheen for this lid. And there's grit left over here, too. All right, our last one, which is that repair. Mose 7 medium barrel, kind of an oily lid. Kind of oily, very thin. 
nothing stuck to the bottom really. So we're using too much grit. Let's move on to a 500. I think I've only got one in 500. And this is the yellow adventurine that was bruising. Super foamy. So for the 500 grit, one and a half pound barrel, I have the right ratio of grit. Got our big 45C, a four pound barrel. It's running a red adventurine in 1000. Again, really foamy, but underneath that foam, it's pretty runny. Nothing really stuck to the bottom, except ceramic media, of course, but I'm talking about grit. Okay, let's rinse this lid. lid. Now, when these barrels go to the wash cycle, these barrels will get washed better. If they're gonna stay in the same grit, a rinse is good enough. There's just the tiniest bit of grit left. So I'm gonna still say I'm using the right amount. All right, this is my sodalite. It's in the one and a half pound barrel in 1000. Look at that, it's like the grit didn't even move. You can still see it. I think the barrel was overloaded. Overloaded barrel. Or I'm just crazy and it's settled because I'm not seeing anything run down there. Also in the one and a half pound barrel, there was some leakage. You can see it's dried on the lid, super foamy. Tiny bit thicker than everything else, but still, I'd say thin. None of this is really thick slurry today.
I'm going to be using slightly too much pre-polish. We're back with our experiment. We've got our prairie agate um, in our three pound barrel running in 6090 course. And last week we had a lot of grit left in the barrel, but we used three tablespoons. This week we used two. And we want to see how much is left in the barrel. Usually what stays is the grit, because it's heavier than water. And you can see very little grit has remained. So I think we hit our three pound barrel ratio of two tablespoons. All right, back with our snake skin, Jasper which we did two experiments with. We went from in our three pound barrel from three tablespoons of 6090 carbide grit because we always had so much left over to two tablespoons. Plus we did just a tiny bit less water. And uh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what, what happens here. Goodness, it's really red. see how much grit's left over. It's not looking like hardly any. See this gray streak here? It's a very thin amount. So I think the experiment worked. We have a lot less on the seven day cycle that's a waste. So just, just a tiny bit. I would say uh, we, we have a success on the ratio now. Okay, our green adventurine barrel, six pound barrel, running in 6090 still. Jesus. Oof. Super, super runny. Look at this. Almost looks like cake batter. That is so funny. This has got the red tiger's eye and a bunch of other mixed Mo's 7 um, things in here that's been in for repairs in our six pound barrel. Kind of thick. That's nice. Not too bad. Barrel. Let's see if I can clean that really good. 
to see what we've got over. See how thick that is? Slow, slow drain. It's a good, good thick slurry. Not really feeling much of anything in here. There's rose quartz in this barrel. They're really big pieces, and we're trying to do a catch up to the other quartz. But because they're so big, it beats the hell out of sound in the barrel. the correct amount of grit because there's like nothing left over. Very, very so as far as the grit experiment on the six pound barrels, I'd say we've got it covered. Prairie Agate in 6090. This is a grit test of our three pound barrel. We only put two tablespoons in last week. We want to see how much grit is left after a seven day cycle. I think we put borax in this too, so it should have been a little bit of an easier clean. Or maybe I didn't put borax in the 16th I did it. Okay, how much is left? The interesting thing about grit is the rock mud weighs less than the grit, so it drains out faster. So the dark, super dark right here, grainy, that's left over 6090. All the rest of this is just rock mud. I'd say the two tablespoons is perfect. <laughs> back with our zebra derite which is feldspar. It's been one week in 6090 horse for it. Super runny. Not bad the barrel. We only did two tablespoons, and since there's very little grit left, I think we did the right. Skin Jasper running in 6090 and our one and a half pound barrel. Wow, super foamy. Nice and thick. Look at how clay red that is. Let's see how much grits left. Okay, 
Okay, reduced grit seems to be working. I'm gonna clean these off and come back with the next barrel. And we're back with our black onyx, which has been running for one week in 6090 coarse silicone carbide. See, it had one tablespoon of baking soda and two tablespoons of the silicone. See how thin, whoops, that is. Not much grit left. Even with the two tablespoons, it seems like there's a little bit too much for a seven day cycle. Here we go with our one barrel and 120. It's our lime green quartz. Super, super foamy. Wow. Super, super foamy. That's really thick. Let's see how much grit's left. Looks like a lot of grit's left. So in this one and a half pound barrel, we can definitely reduce the amount of grit that goes in here for 120. Lots of grit. Oh. Lots of grit. And our one and a half pound barrel, too much, was in the barrel for one point. We're back with our Picasso Jasper. It has been running for one week in our 500 aluminum oxide. This also had borax in it, so let's take a look at the slurry. Really foamy. Nice thicker slurry. Not as runny as what we were seeing with the carbide. See how much grits left. Very little. Our aluminum oxide, we seem to have the right ratios. 